सो वेलकम टू माई फर्स्ट कोर्स ऑन डेटा साइंस सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर कॉम्प्यूटर प्रोग्रामर एंड ऑल्सो चेस्ट प्लेयर आई लाइक टीचिंग एज वेल एज लर्निंग करंटली having specialization in data science means pursuing it next i am very much curious about data science then i took knowledge from my sir who is a data scientist the data scientist uh after my research in different courses related to data science i have found some guidelines which are very distinct and clear if you want to master in data science or become a data scientist so follow these steps to become a data scientist so this course is for designed for anyone who is curious about data science as it's a fastest growing field and it's trendy today and will also be a trending in tomorrow as student in the field of data science okay uh, next data science experts to master their skills and become a data scientist Uh, next anyone who is willing to learn can join so here i go so here i go it's a brief introduction for data science its requirement and application various field we learn this course next you are going to learn like we are going to learn that road map that is how to be data scientist step by step procedure that i tell told you uh next comes the uh how to become data science experts and what are the skills required to data scientist required to be data scientist next comes the history of data science and what is data science actually so everybody which must focus on this what is data science and various career options in this field so thank you uh now this was the introduction to data science uh, in the first video and in the next video upcoming videos we are going deep into data science and completing this all the checkpoints so see you in the next video so in this video you will going to learn about data science and its history so first comes what is data science so data science is actually a field what is it's a field of what it's a field of big data big data is what which is a type of data which is which is actually a variety actually has variety has large volume what it's having a big data is large volume
एंड वेराइटी लार्ज वॉल्यूम एंड इट्स हार्ड टू विजुअलाइज सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट बिग डेटा सो इट्स अ फील्ड ऑफ बिग डेटा ओके एंड गियर टूवर्ड्स प्रोवाइडिंग मीनिंगफुल इंफॉर्मेशन गियर टूवर्ड्स प्रोवाइडिंग मीनिंगफुल इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड ऑन लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा विच इज और डेटा विच हैज लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ नॉइज सो इन द Different video will see that what will be a noise. Okay, so data science or data driven sciences combines different fields of work. What it combines different field of work. So data science means D. Suppose data driven sciences means D D. So it combines different fields of work. is w okay in statistic what computation in order to interpret data for the purpose of decision making so data is actually for decision making suppose we have got the scores of the matches like this 10 of some match 20 of some match so on the basis of that score we will take out some average of this number sometimes means the uh, addition of this two like 30 and then dividing it by 2 when simply we will get 15 so sometimes we need to find average of this number or sometimes there is really probability questions like repeated 10 is repeated many times in a series so we will need to find mod of the numbers to actually see suppose it's a, about a b c d data a scores 10 so we need to find that how many times the a score 10 so when we will find the mod of that number so we will get 3 out of it and when we will get 3 so we can tell that actually when we will get 3 we can tell that actually the a has scored 10 three times so sometimes we can predict data and actually is for decision making so it's all about data science now history of data, data science so history of data science the term data science has been floating around the world for the better part of last 30 years so it has been floating around the world for better part of last 30 years and was originally used as a substitute of computer science means uh, in early 1960 means early 19th century means 1960 the it was like a substitute for computer science but it's not actually computer science but it's a part of it it wasn't until 15 years later the term was used to define the survey of data processing methods okay and different applications in 2001 data science was introduced as an independent discipline so it was compulsory in means it was not a compulsory but it was introduced in the subjects next the harvard business a review published an article also in 2012 means 2012 calling the data scientist the sexiest job of 21st century and till now the data scientist job is a 
वेरी ट्रेंडी जॉब एंड इट हैज मच स्कोप सो इट विल गोज ऑन इट कंटिन्यूज टू ट्रेंड ऑलवेज आई थिंक नॉट आई थिंक इट्स ट्रू सो दिस वॉज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ डेटा साइंस एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इट so in this video we are going to see about the road map to data science actually to master data science it's a road map means the procedure step by step procedure and guide so first of all you need to master a programming language okay which programming language you should master like python okay then can master ruby r or you can master sql so you can master any of this programming language but i will recommend you to master python but master in the sense you need to know everything each and aspect of the python you should know coding of it and uh, everything you can you should know to code properly then next you should learn data visualization this is actually a big course of data visualization visualizing data is the major role or a major aspect so it will take you around 2 to 3 weeks after completing a programming language this will take you around 2 weeks if you are good in that or it can take up to 3 weeks also then you need to learn data analysis data analysis and data visualization are two different thing visualizing data means the quantifying data and analyzing data means to quantify data so visualize means qualify data and data is analyzed on the basis of quantifying quantifying quantify means analyze means there suppose there is a graph basis on that we are analyzing which team is going to one suppose this is team a so of course the team a scored much points this is a point point scored and this is the balls so in number of balls the point score were this so a has scored the maximum points so a1 so this is the on the basis of data analysis we predict what we do predict predict okay so prediction is done on the basis of data analysis and sometime we need to visualize data also visualize means to just uh, what we are making this graph so when we are making a graph so this is a bar graph so when we are making graph so we are visualizing the data with the help of graph means actually if there are numbers 
so 2020 so our mind doesn't get an idea but when we just plot graphs or different types of graphs like bar graph pie charts and different histograms so we are able to visualize the data so first step is visualization data and then to analyze data and actually these two are done to what predict data predict or for prediction Next come learn databases. What a database? Database actually are the organized collection. What is it? Organized collection. Sorry, my writing is not that good, but it's a organized collection of interrelated data and used to access data this is organized collection of interrelated data and used to access data so it's a database okay, and databases are of many types like SQL MySQL Sometime Excel and many more. Okay. Next comes the scrapping of data. Data is scrapped into two parts. Uh, this is static scrapping, and then comes the dynamic scrapping. These two are very different this will also take you about two weeks and learning this together will take you two weeks so approx you will need to learn data science will take you about two to 2.5 months and at last you should make a, your final project which will include all of these topics so thank you friend this was a roadmap to data science master data science so in the next video or upcoming video we will see different aspects related to how to become a data scientist Sorry, but in earlier language, I told you that SQL is a language. So SQL is not a language. Actually, you need to master any one of this programming language I brought to you, like Python. I told earlier JavaScript. Next is not Ruby. It's JavaScript. Then MATLAB. So what is Python? Python is the fastest growing language with most of the advanced features required for the data manipulation, extraction, data processing, and also user friendly and easy to use. So it's a most advanced language. So I will recommend you to do uh, use Python only, but JavaScript is also best if you want to use it. It is, it has big user database and is also friendly to use next comes the matlab matlab is basically used for image processing so mathematical computation and data visualization can be seen in the matlab easily so major i will recommend you to do python javascript or r but depends on you which language you prefer you can also take SAS, it's basically a commercial version of R. 
so you should know what is r r is particular advantageous advantageous for visualization breaking down the statistical variable without need of much coding skills so it's like a uh, doesn't need much coding it's there are drag and drop types of variables you can uh, sorry drag and types of types of things you can simply visualize using it and break down the statistical variable without need of much coding skills so this was all about language next comes the difference between noisy data and real data means noise so it's not a noisy data you can also call it noisy data but simply you can call it noise or real data so what is a noise so everything uh, we see around us so if we are thinking about noise so we feel like uh, something which is spreaded out or scattered we are sim simply it's that only so anything scattered around us or scattered but in this sense scattering here means the randomness means what will be the scattering in the data so scattering in data will be randomness in data okay it often look likes a big mass big mass means when this type of data is given to you and you have to tell or predict something so it seems to be very tough for you because all the data is same and they are scattered around so which is the correct one to choose or from this box so it's a big difficult task due to it increases the complexity can be quite useless yeah it's true it's a useless type of thing but we need to make this useless thing also into a systematic arrangements if we can so here the difference so in real data data is arranged in a particular order or sequence so here the sequence matters a lot like we have seen sometimes array there was a sequence and the data is stored in sequence in array okay then there is linked list there is also sequence similarly there is sequence in the data okay means one after the other so it easy to predict which one will come next next to make sense of your data you need to use data analytic tools yeah to make data sensible you need to make data use data analytics rules here in the noise because it seems to be sen senseless and real data always useful in prediction yeah real data is always useful in prediction if you want to predict something just simply take the real data suppose you want to predict which train will arrive at this time so you can predict that at 10 am this train was arrived 12 uh, this was arrived at 1 pm this was arrived and uh, after then 2 pm this was arrived so this should be arrived at this time because there is a sequential process so the best tool for data analysis in the python is pandas Panda is an inbuilt library, and you can download an Anaconda packages to unwrap that. And essential items you get, you should get familiar with their definitions because so nice are on the next page. Here no tools are required. Here tools are required. No tools are required. So this was all about what is basic difference between noise and data. You can also note it down if you want. Okay. So let's come to next lecture. So before you want to make expert in data science. to know why data science is important so data science is for healthcare data science is in genetics and genomics so the research genetics and genomic enables advanced level of treatment personalization data science techniques allows integration of different kinds of data with genomic data in the disease research 
which provides a deeper understanding of genetic issues in the reactions of a particular drugs and diseases so in the research work for a deeper understanding of genetic issues so it's important popular techniques and framework yeah obviously map reduces rend, uh, rend, uh, reading genetic sequences mapping and shortens the time of time for efficient data processing so to reduce the time it's important and prediction is a major step towards it in manufacture of drugs also data science is used the drug discovery is the process is highly complicated and involves major disciplines the greatest ideas are often bounded by a billions of testing huge financial and time expenditures so it takes 10 years to get drug officially submitted the data science and machine learning sorry machine learning algorithms simplify and shorten this process so early it was taking 12 years so now the process has been shortened adding a perspective to each step from the initial screening of drugs compounds to prediction of success rate based biological factors and to forecast simulation instead of lab experiment so next in the virtual assistance of patients and customer support so virtual assistance for patient optimizing of clinical process builds upon the concept of many cases using a mobile application can give more effective solution by bringing the doctor to patient instead the ai powered a mobile apps can provide basic healthcare support usually as chatbots you can simply describe your symptoms or ask question it's too easy now then receive the key information about your medical condition derived from the wide network linking system uh, symptoms to cause apps can remind you to take your medicines on time so this is also a good thing so everything is digitalized and there is a data so there will be a science so it's a data science process and encouraging the patients to make healthy decisions so the machine learning algorithms use natural language processing and generation to provide correct information create a complex map of user condition and personalized experience the most popular application nowadays are your dot md babylon health ada and so on and managing customers data so you can read this the whole medical history of a person will be stored in one system techniques like support vector machines optical characters recognition a great helpers in digitalization next comes the introduction of the electronic cards of for each patient which would be available to every one every doctor who deals with the different cases now so there are some skills you need to know to master data science you must know about graphs and how to analyze the graphs now you will go through a cheat sheet which will help you to get proper knowledge about various graphs type line graphs used for showing patterns trends changes over time is simply like this it's a line graph next comes the scatter plot used for the looking correct correction sorry used for corrections and relationships 
नेक्स्ट कम्स पाई चार्ट पाई चार्ट इज इन दिस फॉर्म वेदर डेटा इज अरेज इन अ सर्कल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय सम परसेंटेज लाइक वन परसेंट देन ये सपोज ट्वेंटी परसेंट आई टेक इट द डेटा रेंडमली सो इट्स नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट so anything can be represented in this it's like a pie chart next comes a bar graph so when there are spaces between the bars it's called a bar graph and is actually used for comparing differences change over time like this we analyzed it touching to this suppose it is 10 add 0 and this is 20 and suppose we want to find the number of persons this are the number of persons graph number of persons in the range 10 we can find simply using this so these are the number of persons in the range of 10 shaded area okay and histogram is used for showing frequency of the data of overall distribution of data so frequency of overall distribution of data so this is what this was the bar graph so histogram is like this where the like the bars only but the bars are stick together to one another oh sorry this is in the shape of rectangle but it's not exactly like that so you can see this oh this is like a histogram not coming like that okay then box and square plot comes they are used for showing data distribution quartiles averages maximum and minimum values next comes you must know like what are the pandas terms so basically data frame or data frame is a pandas default format for storing data it looks like very similar to standard table so data frame jo hoti hai means data like so what is a data frame it looks similar to the standard table okay with columns and rows but much more powerful okay standard table columns and rows but much more powerful just visualize this okay next comes indexing correctly referencing values in the data frame suppose i want to this is a location o and i want to insert a value so i am correctly inserting value at location o suppose i inserted 10 so this is known as indexing next comes the filtering being able to filter your data to do analysis filtering data means uh, like i can tell you the way like there is a data so population of india is compared to population of us okay and we get some data or oh, this is like in billions we take uh, any random number like which is i know actually it's 2 billion 
or 2.5 billions but i have take an example of 10 10 was earlier suppose they were same suppose then here comes the 15 and here comes the 18 so we are asked to filter the data means we want to show only the population growth of us so we will get total of this it will be 10 plus 15 25 and 25 uh, plus actually like um, yeah adding this but so it will be approx 43 so population is in approx not exact okay so this is after filter filtration you can get the result so missing data if in this suppose 15 is missing means we are given some lack of information data is incomplete or missing we need to replace discard or fill the missing data and you need to suppose find this data so how you can find it so if we are given this 43 that is total is 43 so 10 plus 18 we can just get it 28 and when subtract from 43 we can get 15 so like this you can find missing data then applying functions pandas let you apply function to all values in a column which make your analysis much faster next comes the uniqueness occurrence what is uniqueness occurrence one of the first thing you will often do is look at what values are included in each column and how often they are occur that way you will how sorry uh, what values are occurring in the which column and how they occur that's way in much filtering you can do on a piece of information we are just simply filtering after that uniqueness so data comes from many sources concatenation data comes from many sources so it's important uh, to be able to expand your own tables and include extra columns or join several data sources so yeah it's important to extend your table or ex add extra columns to it because data comes from many sources suppose data is coming from here data is coming from here means every population so population of us population of china population of india so data is of many types so most of the data you can increase it so it's called concatenation in easy words now you should learn to work with basic database okay i've already told that what is database so database is a organized interrelated data to access data okay organized set of interrelated data or collection of interrelated data to access data or manage data database you need to know how to store data in database when suppose we can take example of excel sheet or spreadsheet example like that how to store it learning how to store data in incons inconsistent efficient and structured manner is a crucial for proof professional data science career yeah you should uh, in efficient manner you should store data consistent and structured manner to make it easy to use process data processing data in the database will save you a lot of computation time and memory yeah you should be less in time and com memory complexity because it's so efficient we should efficient resources we should store we should save it extract data extraction on extracting only the data you need to speed up analysis is much more cost efficient okay so this was all that next comes learn, last comes learn to how to gather data data from anywhere okay should be gathered should know it so what is web scrapping so simply web scrapping is the extraction of data 
from the website so if you are extracting data from suppose a particular website we can say facebook.com and we are extracting some profile details from it so it's known as web scrapping next come internet is your oyster when it comes to web scrapping literally every website that you find online is offering up its data to you scrap what can you scrap imdb movie rating rankings search engine results for seo search engine optimization events email addresses social media trends netflix movie titles government statistics stock market data job listing data profiles apartments listing reddit posts luxuries vacancy deals and possibilities are endless i am just here to teach you simple steps you are the one that going to crazy creative and gather all the data you can with it this is what i want to look like after you learn web scrapping so end of this slides but before end i will tell you secret in the next video but what are the skills need to be data scientist so so data scientist okay what are the skills needed to be data scientist here are some important attributes and skills according to it leaders not according to me not according to anyone it's according to it leaders critical thinking coding maths machine learning deep learning ai communication or data architecture risk this seems to be too boring so what actually needed i will tell you in this video this is final video watch it carefully so first a language next comes this i have told already to you types of graphs difference between noise and real data must know panda terms learn to work with basic databases learn to gather data from anywhere so these are the some skills needed to be data scientist and you also need this kinds of techniques like data visualization data analysis database i already told you scraping of data already told you final projects you need to just do it so you can become data scientist easily following this road map so thank you everyone thank you for your support please like share and subscribe and stay connected to me for such new and brutally updated videos thank you miss fresh videos